Hi everyone, Sarah here. I have a package to share with you today. Um, I have been contacted by Wizardy. I have reviewed uh, one of their diamond paintings before. I still haven't completed it, but I have it to do. Um, so, and I also did some wood charms for them and they contacted me because they have some new dream catchers, uh, new designs that they have in their wood charms. So they asked me to review some for you guys. And I'm super excited. I love these. Um, I will put all the links for you down below. They did come in a um, bubble wrap envelope. I was able to pick out two of them. Oh, the glare is terrible. This one here is the Dreamcatcher Half Moon. And then this is the Dreamcatcher Forget Me Not. Now, if you're not familiar with these, um, Wizardy does embroidery and now diamond painting and these charms they call them they are diamond painting plywood kits they are super awesome let me see they have uh, all of like everything you need wooden panels bags with rhinestones there's an adhesive layer tools instructions magnet and a string what is the magnet oh the magnet is if you want to put it on the fridge because you can turn turn these wooden charms into magnets or you can hang them um, for the dream catchers i would hang them i think they're super cute so i'm just going to open this one to show you guys what's in it i'll open the other one to show you the design and then i am going to um, probably do a speed uh, put together for you guys so let's start with the instructions you have your key code with your symbols they are all black and white um, because they're printed on wood, so obviously they can't really put color into that. There's the design. It's so pretty. It's got like a forget-me-not flower, and then the leaves are hanging down below. These are your instructions in multiple languages. Just tells you how to go through and do it. Super easy. You get your toolkit with your tray, your wax, and your pen. It's all you need. Everything is packaged up in this baggie with the silica gel. To keep it nice and fresh <laughs> all right so you have all your string that you need to tie everything together and your wooden pieces and they're all double-sided for these ones because of course they hang so this is our main panel there's the hole at the top to hang it and then the hole to attach the three leaves everything is pre-printed nice and crisp And then you get your pre-cut piece of double-sided adhesive. So you just peel off one side, place it on there over top of the symbols, and then pull off the other side and do your diamond painting. I'm gonna save that for the next video, or the next section so that you guys can see up close. Because my uh, setting right now is not really up close. <laughs> And then you get another Ziploc baggie with all the diamonds. Quality is really good. I have never had any issues with theirs. They also include AB. So this one is a nice bright blue 3843. Then we have 996, 995. There's our green 699. There's some 310. You can see good quality. Here's an AB. It's 3811. They have a P at the end to show that it's an AB color. So red A. Their AB coatings are super nice. There is a little bit of yellow that has AB on it. That blurry sparkle. And then a green with AB coating. So pretty, so sparkly. All right, so that is that one. Put this all off to the side here. And then I'll bring out the other one to show you. This one's super cute with the half moon and feathers hanging. I think the first dream catcher we did had feathers on it also. Toolkit, 
instructions. There's our wood pieces. Uh, this one doesn't have silica. This one has, um, it does say silica gel, but it's a see-through package. So you can see the little beads in it. And it says, do not eat. These are not diamonds, guys. This is silica. Don't eat. Here's our diamonds. Three colors. Yeah, this one just has three colors. Nice. So we have our 996, which is the blue. 310 for black. And 5200 P for our irid or AB coating. Iridescent. Sparkly. Super pretty, so that one's gonna be really nice and fast and easy. All right, so let me get the camera set up at a different angle and we will drill one of these together.
Okay, so all of our pieces are done and painted. Look at that beautiful sparkle. Both sides, and if you watched through the entire video, you would see my oopsie. <laughs> so leave a comment down below what mistake I made in my diamond painting uh, for a little surprise. Uh, I thought I would share with you how many extra drills we have. Here's the 310, tons of extra. And then we have the three blue colors. There's still lots of extras for those. And then our green, and then these are the three ABs. So this one is the yellow that was in the middle. We had five drills on each side and we have four extras, which is still good. And then for the green and the blue. Even with my oopsie, we still have all of those extra drills. All right, so I have the strings that came with the kit. You get four pieces of strings. So the first thing I'm gonna do is attach them to the leaves. I'm just gonna grab my scissors here. Just gonna push it through the holes. And I'm going to tie a couple of knots to make it nice and sturdy. Pull it super tight. And then just trim the excess off. So there's one leaf. Just attach the um, whatever your hanging charm is for your dream catcher because each of them are different. They could be feathers, they could be leaves. In this case, we have leaves, so I'm attaching the leaf section first, and then you can attach them to the actual dream catcher, and that way they're going to all hang the right distance that you want. And the fourth piece is for the top. work today. <laughs> Sometimes my fingers do not want to work. So we have our three leaves and I'm going to hang my special leaf in the middle because you have your three holes at the bottom. I'm going to hang the special leaf in the middle. Now you can see from the picture they don't hang them too far away because it is small. If it was bigger I would say yeah leave them a long distance but for this, I'm going to keep them kind of short. And you could look up some special knots. I don't know, I'm not, uh, not super great at that. <laughs> I just wrapped it around a couple times and put another knot there. I'm going to do a second one just for safe, safe measures. It's super tight. the one leaf so 
so then you just want to figure out where you want your leaves to be. Oh, too long. into a giant mess. Oh, noisy. <laughs> there we go. So there is my three hanging leaves on my forget-me-not dream catcher. And then our fourth one, I am just going to fold it in half and tie a knot. One knot is fine for this, and then I'm going to trim those edges, and then we're just going to loop it through. Actually, I'm going to go from the back. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter what side. They're, it's double-sided. And then just pull it through. So then we have our hanging thread. And our hanging leaves. So there we go. That is the Dreamcatcher Forget Me Not charm from Wizardy. I will have all the links down for you guys below. Thank you to Wizardy for sending me these great charms. I absolutely love them. They are fun, great quality, and really good project to put together. All right, so don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what mistake I made when I was making my dream catcher <laughs> and uh leave a comment subscribe and have a great day thanks bye